question is from Joyful JJ. I have hypermobile hip joints that have led me to have terrible recruitment patterns in my lower body. I try to strengthen the muscles around my hips, but I still feel like I'm not able to engage them correctly. What can I do to fix this? This yep. is this is an, uh, another. What a great who picked this? That was a good question. I did. So the uh, kudos to you. This is normally like a Justin question because yeah. Justin is big uh, isometric guy and slow training. Yep, and I, this is a great great. Uh, way to uh, incorporate mm -hmm. isometrics, and I think why it's such a underrated tool in in our space. So um, I would definitely incorporate some of that. That's the first thing that comes to mind. Oh, right totally. I remember the first time I had a client who was actually hypermobile, and the reason why I remember it is because it's way less common than a person who's tight. Mm -hmm. Like the average person is tight. So yeah. when I was a trainer, when I first became a trainer, I'd get clients, and almost every single one of them. I had to work on improving their mobility, their range of motion, getting them to be able to squat deeper, you know, loosening up their hamstrings and their hip flexors and their hips and their shoulders. And then I remember I got this one client that, and I didn't know that this was a problem because I was a new trainer. So I had this one client, I did my assessment and I'm like, whoa, <laughs> you're super flexible. This is going to be easy. It's right. going to be great. Like you, yeah. like you could, you could fold your body in half. You could like do their the form splits. looks perfect. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. It's, you could totally move and everything. And then we would train and everything would hurt. Yeah. And, and I'd be like, well, this is very strange. Why is everything hurting? And luckily, I, I had a, another uh, friend of mine who was a trainer who was also a physical therapist, and they explained to me that uh, you know having the extreme ranges of motion without strength is just as bad. It causes instability. Mm -hmm. And so the way I train this person, this is the way I always approach this because I've had since then I've had several clients who've, who are hypermobile is it, it's very different than the way I train other people. So other people I'm constantly challenging range of motion. I'm constantly trying to get them to be able to squat deeper. Of course everything with good form and all that stuff. With a person like this, I stop them yeah. from full range of motion. Mm -hmm. So when I have someone like this, we're not squatting ass to grass. I'm stopping them a little bit, I'm letting them go past parallel just a little bit. Pause there, hold the squat, come up real slow. Now go back down, stop, and I would have to tell them where to stop the rep. I would not let their flexibility mm -hmm. determine where to stop the rep. We'd have to go lighter, and we'd have to keep lots and lots of tension and go slow. And then over time, we would build stability in their body, but it's a it's a very different stability approach. training yeah. too. Yeah. yeah, like someone like this that's in their hips, I, I think right away like single leg toe touches is such a great move for that person, and you don't need to do it uh, holding very much weight whatsoever. And it's you know back to what Sal uh, and I know what Justin will go to or towards, which is the isometric stuff. Is you know you move them all the way down, you get them to that point that you want to stop them at, and in that point you have them hold like an isometric pose there for a second, maybe five seconds, mm -hmm. and then come back out of the rep and then move back down and, and just work on stability and isometric together, you know? Yeah, it's it's a totally different way of approaching um, reps too. So like there's going to be less reps because it's very taxing when you're trying to irradiate this, this muscular tension throughout your body and just basically meaning like you're squeezing all these muscles and really trying to feel your way through where, uh, you know, you may have a loss in terms of like I can drop into that position, but I'm not necessarily, you know, tight and strong in that position. Um, so I would work and one of these techniques that w why I was really drawn to like the stick mobility guys and what they're doing with adding in isometric components to it. Um, there was a way to add, and we did a video on this a long time ago we called the Dumphy squat, but the, the concept there was really to then, uh, add, add more muscular tension, even with the upper body getting involved in squatting. And so this, this was a way to push up and, and create, you actually feel like your muscles get that tension, get tight, and that kind of cascading down into the hips. And so as you slowly lower, you could just feel this resistance through your body. So I'm going down real slow. I'm feeling that resistance and that tightness. If I feel at all there's a loss in that tightness, I'm going to stop right there. Mm. And then we're going to squeeze. Like you said, we're, we're going to go ahead and hold like for that five-second hold um, to try and reestablish that that connectivity there. Like there's 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 a drop, and, and that's where the instability, uh, you know, that's a problem uh, to where if I'm in this and I can't get out of it with strength, uh, that's an issue. What a great video you just referenced that should definitely be linked linked in the show notes, for, especially for this person. For someone who's got hypermobile hips, uh, the Dumphy squat would be fantastic. So would I can always tell a, a client, because they, uh, especially with squatting and they're hypermobile, is that 
their uh, their legs kind of flop everywhere when they mm-hmm. drop. They can drop all the way down ass to grass, but the knees are wobbly mm-hmm. all over in and out of the squat. And you could tell even if they, their form looks good when you watch somebody who's hypermobile, even if everything looks kind of perfect, you can tell that they're that they're they're losing tension the whole time. Mm-hmm. You could just see them move through the squat, and it's as if they're not tight and tense. So, so this is the thing. Do your exercises. Don't let your body tell you how deep to go with the movements. Stop just a little bit before you know you could go any deeper. And then stay tight with everything. And then here's, here's the good news. For people who are hypermobile, you start building muscle. It's really a great solution. You put you pack muscle on somebody's hypermobile, and they really start to solve a lot of the problems. Uh, yeah, and uh, Joe just reminded me and Joe DeFranco, sir, like they're talking about either need to mobilize or stabilize. So this would be like on that 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 side of needing to stabilize. Right. 